Okay, so we've got a bit of a different video today here. Um, and this one pertains to both typewriters and the recent advancements in AI. Um, the other thing I wanted to address is my constant audio issue within the last few videos. Now I was using, I was using my Sony TCD5 cassette recorder, but as I discovered, the audio erase head is not actually working, so I have my microphone now going into my reel-to-reel -reel unit, and that'll feed the audio for today's video. So, still going analog, but a little bit different. So what I have pulled up here on the computer now is a program called ChatGPT. It's a relatively new program that is currently in beta testing by the OpenAI project. Now what this does it is, is it has scanned the internet and learned as much as it can and can actually carry on fluid conversations with an input user. And it's going to rely on the information that it already knows and rely on the information in this actual conversation to continue to put forward relevant information based on not only what it knows, but what we've already put into the conversation previously, which is something that has not quite been done before. So if, you're ex if you've experienced using Siri in the past, especially when it first came out, it cannot refer back to previous aspects of a conversation. ChatGPT can. It will actually memorize the aspects of your conversation with it and use those to create more coherent responses to further questions. So today we're going to use ChatGPT and I'm going to have it instruct me how to use a typewriter for the first time. I'm just going to pretend like I've never ever done this before. I have my Groma Calibri out and I'm going to see if we can get an, uh, sort of a video capture thing set up here. Um, and I believe this is okay, so we're just going to hit start recording. Okay, so as you can see on the screen here, I have asked ChatGPT, I would like to know how to use a typewriter. And it tells me that a typewriter is a mechanical or electromechanical device with keys that when pressed cause characters to be printed on a medium, usually paper. And right away I am impressed with the punctuation and the flow of these sentences. And it says using a typewriter can be a bit different from using a mounted computer or word processor but it can still be useful and an enjoyable tool for writing and creating documents. Here are some general steps for using a typewriter. Number one, make sure it is properly set up. This might involve adjusting the paper position, setting the margins, and selecting the typeface or font. Sit in front of the typewriter with good posture and reach for the keys. You'll want to keep your hands and wrists straight and your arms close to your body to avoid strain. Begin by typing or pressing down on the keys with your fingers. You'll need to apply some force to the keys to activate the typewriter's mechanisms and print the characters. Okay, so it's pretty basic, and I'm sure you can see what this helps. Now, I might have a question about how I, how I load paper. How do you load paper? And we'll see what comes up. How do you load paper? The process for loading paper into a typewriter can vary depending on it's the specific model you're using. Now, the interesting thing here is it actually remembers that we're talking about using a typewriter, so I don't have to reference that at all. It actually knows that that's what I'm referring back to. So locate the paper tray or paper holder at the back of the typewriter. Some typewriters have a single tray that holds multiple sheets of paper, while others have a separate holder for each seat. Open the tray or holder by pulling it out or lifting a latch. Okay, and I think it's a little bit confused here and maybe talking about printers. Let's place a stack of paper. Okay, so it's talking about a stack of paper here. I think, oh, if you're using a manual typewriter in step six, you will need to turn the paper feed wheel or handle to advance the paper one line at a time. It's very interesting. What kind of paper should I use? Most typewriters are designed to be used as standard 20 pound bond paper. This type of paper is commonly used for office documents and is typically white or off-white in color. It is generally a good idea to, to avoid using thin or flimsy paper as it may jam or become misaligned in the typewriter. If you are using a manual typewriter, you may also want to avoid using paper with a glossy or coated finish as this can make the keys more difficult to press down. I would say no to that, but it can make it so that your ink doesn't saturate the paper as much. Let's see, in general, it is a good idea to use paper that is suitable for the type of document you are creating and the type of typewriter you are using. So if we're actually talking about what kind of paper you want to use in your typewriter, the, the correct-ish answer is any type of paper. So I'm just going to open up my file cabinet here and scrap some of this wonderful branded paper that you should be buying right now. So, we'll load that in. 
Uh, what if I want to send somebody a letter? How do I type a letter? To type a letter on a typewriter, you'll need to follow these general steps. Make sure the typewriter is properly set up and has a fresh sheet of paper loaded into it. Position the cursor at the top left corner of the page or wherever you want the letter to begin. Type a date followed by the recipient's name and address. Now that's a very professional way to write a letter. Press the return key. Well, I don't have a return key. Okay, so it's telling me how to indent it, how to paragraph it, and how to close a letter. Let's see. Let's scroll back up to the using it. Now it says here to type a capital letter, you need to use a shift key. You know that if you make a mistake while typing, you can use a backspace key. Well, we can't delete the last character you typed. Okay, and now here, when you're finished typing a document, you can use the carriage return lever to move the cursor to the beginning of the next line. So that's very interesting. Um, let me ask specifically, what do I do when the bell rings? And I spelt that wrong, but it knows what I'm talking about anyway. Now, when the bell rings, I said stop typing and locate the carriage return lever. Also called the return or enter key. Press it to move the cursor to the beginning of the next line. The bell should stop ringing once the cursor is moved. If you're using a manual typewriter, you may also need to turn the paper feed wheel or handle to advance the paper one line at a time. Now, I will say for like 99% of all manual typewriters, there is always going to be a carriage return lever, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, I don't know if we can actually see this on camera, so I'm just going to um, move my keyboard back and check. So, let me ask... What should I write? There are many things you can write in a typewriter depending on your interests and goals. Some common uses for a typewriter include letters, essays, resumes, poetry, and memoirs, what else? Fiction. So I do like the idea of poetry. I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write me a poem. Here's a poem that I composed of you. It is actually typing out a poem about a typewriter writing a poem, which is very interesting. So we'll type that out. Let's see. Let me set my margin at the end, actually. Thoughts, news. I know I'm making a couple typos here. Okay, so that's a very nice poem, and I'll read it to you in case you weren't able to catch it. It says, The sound of keys, a rhythmic tap, a blank page ready for the snap, of thoughts and words, a dance and ink, a story rating ready to think, the clack and clatter, a soothing sound, as words take shape and thoughts abound, a message written, a heart's desire, a poem's creation, a single spire. So let your fingers dance and play across the canvas, a brand new day, a canvas rating, a blank slate, a poem's creation, do not hesitate. It's kind of disturbing that an AI can write a poem that actually rhymes and has rhythm to it. So I'm just going to ask it really quickly now, what do I do with the poem?
There are many things you can do with a poem that you have written or received. Here are a few ideas. Save it. You can save the poem in a journal, notebook, on your computer so that you can refer to it later. Share it. If you're proud of the poem and want to share it with others, you can send it to friends or family members, post it on social media, or submit it to a literary magazine or poetry contest. You can analyze it. If you're interested in learning more about poetry, you can try analyzing the poem by examining its structure, language, imagery, and theme. You can use it as inspiration. You can display it. Well, oh. can I eat it? What's thinking? No, it is not recommended to eat a poem or any other written document. Poems and other written works are meant to be read and appreciated for their co content and artistic value, not consumed as food. If you're looking for something to eat, I suggest consuming a recipe or seeking out nourishing and safe food options. It is important to take care of your physical health by eating an, a well-balanced diet and staying hydrated. Well, that's very good advice. You should not eat poems. That is what AI is telling us. Well, I... Can I feed it to? Nope. You should not try to feed a poem or any other written document to somewhere else. It is important to respect the boundaries and preferences of others and not try to force them to consume something that is not meant to be eaten. Well, there you have it, folks. You cannot eat a poem and you cannot force somebody else to eat a poem. That disappoints me. Okay, that's fine. Uh, my cat has opened my door. I already know. No! Okay. Well, that's the end of the video. Separator. Congratulations on completing this tutorial on using a typewriter. We hope you now have a better understanding of how to set up, operate, and maintain this classic writing machine. Whether you're using a typewriter for personal or professional purposes, we are confident that you now have the skills and knowledge you need to make the most of this versatile and rewarding tool. As you continue to use a typewriter, remember to take care of it and keep it in good working order. With a little bit of patience and attention, your typewriter will serve you well for many years to come. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery. We hope you enjoyed learning about typewriters as much as we did. Happy typing. That's my cat's phrase that they stole. <sighs> I hope this ending provides you with some inspiration for your video. Remember the... Oh, wait, that's... Sorry, that's not part of the ending. Anyway, whatever, just... We're done. And I'm not explaining this very well. Let me check the video.